I swear, right, okay, so I've got the film crew and lovely Sally Tanner. I've forgotten your name, mate? Simon. Simon and Sally here yeah. is going to do a little bit of into me. We're going to go down yeah. and see the cows in a minute. But So what's the, what's the plan today then? Well, we've come out to see someone called The Funky Farmer who's doing these really good videos that are very popular online teaching Excellent. people about farming and where their food comes from which is really important brilliant and you've got your camera doing the job yeah, i'm going to be filming you filming me filming you filming me yeah <laughs> brilliant right well we're going to have a look at the cows and we'll see how we get on cheers okay so i'm actually here with bbc points west now and um uh, we're going to do a little piece about my um, youtube channel they just filmed some shots of the cows which they're going to edit in later um they came to me afterwards on the radio they came and asked me if i was interested in doing something for the local um TV station, so uh, it's quite nice. They're going to do that now, uh, and I haven't got a tripod, so I can't film the interview while it's taking place. But I'll put on the end of this film the bits that we actually um, get shown on TV. Oh, there we go, there's, there's the cameraman from BBC Points West, going to be on YouTube. Filming the funky Thank you. farmer. Filming the funky tonight. farmer, brilliant. Points West tonight. Points West tonight, watch it. Now if I told you I was off tending the sucklers or hefting my flock, would you know what I was talking about? I never do to be honest, but uh, <laughs> probably not. Me neither. Which uh, may explain why a farmer in the West is proving to be such a success with his video diaries as they give a glimpse of life on a typical family farm. Richard Corner now attracts millions of viewers around the world and he goes by the name of Funky Farmer. Sally Chandler has been to meet him. Okay, so it's Friday the 31st of March, we're letting the cows out for the first time this year. Come on girls, let's go! You can see why this video of Richard Cornock's dairy cattle went viral. Released after a winter indoors, their joy is obvious. The same cows, a little less excited, are used to being the stars of the show. But the funky farmer wants his videos to show more than just pretty countryside images. What I've tried to do is I've tried to be kind of quite natural and show the real side of farming. Um, the highs and the lows, if you like. So I show you the nice things we do, you know, my kids making a scarecrow or something. But also I've, I've talked about the issues we've had with things like TB on the farm and last year with a very difficult milk price. And, and it's just one man filming what I do. We've got a heifer 828 here that's a bit overdue and she's not getting on with the calving. Some of it isn't easy viewing, but then dairy farming isn't an easy lifestyle choice. It's a very socially isolating job being on a farm. I mean, I'm in a field with cows now, but quite often I'm in a field with nothing. But this is a way for me to get some feedback from around the world, and I do get some lovely messages from all around the world. In fact, um, only yesterday someone from Wisconsin emailed me telling me that they love watching the videos, and that's a lovely feeling, you know? I'm not sure that might be a self-portrait of me. Sometimes the next generation makes it onto the screen. I run the farm with my brother Tom, and we are a typical family farm, but the thing is, it's getting harder and harder um, for farms on our scale to keep going and making a profit. So I'm actually, unwittingly in many ways, making a historical record of something that maybe, you know, if people are watching these videos in 50 years' time, there won't be these sort of farms. Anyway, I'm filming you as we speak. And there really is always something to film down on the farm. Sally Chaloner, BBC Points West. Filming the funky farm, right? Brilliant. I'm going to follow that. Brilliant. Yeah. Funky farmer. So next time you tell me you're tending your sucklers, I'll know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. And tread as carefully as I did. Yep. Now, a former supermarket worker from Bath has been signed by an American football team. Alex Jenkins is his name and only took up the sport six years ago after watching it. <laughs> I like that. That was really fun. Before winning a scholarship to an American.